Now I'm going to try a new setup today because I'm going to paint both boxes. That is still, that box still does not have enough paint. And that's the, uh, the Dant. This is the Pierco. I'm going to hang them on this where I can paint all four sides. And I got to tape this one up. And I did fix the other frame where it was cracked and I glued it up. Just, it glued up real good up here and down here that had a little bit of gap right in here. But I did get it nailed up. It's solid. It don't wiggle. So it's good to go. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get these boxes ready to paint. I got to do a little sanding on this one. And uh, uh, probably move it backwards a little bit. That way I can go back over here and paint my other stuff again. And get it ready uh it just slowly but surely this paint the oil-based paint takes a long time to dry when there's moisture in the air um wind's blowing like crazy today so uh back inside uh don't want the pollen falling all over my boxes and uh hopefully i can get this knocked out and done today at least get that one box finished up but uh a little crowded for space because we got everything bunched up in here but work on these boxes get them painted and uh after i get this one taped up i'll get them painted and we'll uh hopefully it works out I normally put a lid on my paint that hole in the middle, but I can't find my old lid anymore. So it's been a while since I painted anything up. Not near the gaps to fill on this Pierco box as there was on that Dedant. Uh ingrain still soak up a lot of a lot of paint. We got rain coming again today uh, I just it don't seem like I'm gonna get out of this for two or three days so it's nice and dry and hot right now and uh, so I want to get as much of this painted as I can actually getting warm in here so I'm gonna open the door back original lumber mark can still be seen this absorbed and just it's almost disappeared with the coat I put on it it's still a little tacky but I mean it's sucking up every bit of paint it can get that one will probably take even more coats than this one but we'll see it may surprise me sometimes the ones that suck it up really good real quick the first go seal up the fastest when you're just painting and it's just sucking the paint in I mean it's just a little tacky that one dried pretty quick I probably should let it dry all the way that way it wouldn't keep sucking paint in. It looks like it's going to take it and suck it in anyway, so I will paint it and get another coat on it, let it dry a little bit, keep coming back, working on it. Storm front's moving in really starting to cloud up now so got caught in a downpour had to go change clothes got really cool now it's raining yeah, these feel dry enough that I should be able to get another coat on them this one is actually starting to look really good uh, 
still see green color. What I'm looking for is the lettering that was on it and I'm not seeing it anywhere. So that one will probably I'll probably get one more good coat on it. It'll be done. This one is still showing through. I mean that really sucked the paint in. Uh, you can still see the lettering just fine on this one. So I'll uh, get my can opened up and uh, give it a little stir. So we're supposed to have really good weather for oh, about a week. So I'm hoping to uh, have this all touched up and finished. Uh, I don't know how good I've got the bottom board and all of that. I've kept touching it up, but it really absorbed a lot of paint too, so uh, I just have to see, but it should be done. Tomorrow's going to be fairly nice, so I'll be working outside mostly, but I will be coming in here and finishing up probably this box. This one will probably be done today and get these boxes out or get this one box out to catch a swarm tomorrow i'll probably be cutting all my material up for a long hive be working outside on my summer kitchen in my long hive so that way i can get ahead i want to start working on one of these to turn into a, a bee back so you know, I'm sure I'll be getting calls for my, from my some of my family cutting trees down in the logging business they get a couple bee trees a year so I'll be trying to save as many of them as I can and building quite a few boxes I'd say before it's over with. I'm gonna have to find me another shop light. Yeah I'm pretty sure this one will take another coat at least. It's really absorbing the paint. If it gets as warm as they say tomorrow and the sun's shining and the wind's not blowing put these boxes out in the sun let them dry quicker if I have to do any more to the boxes hopefully it's not too windy and the pollen ain't blowing all over the place went out and looked at my floor even after the rain and uh, there's yellow pollen because the floor is black you can just see the pollen everywhere I mean, it's just almost turned every little nook in that floor yellow. Looks like it's going to come a rain again. Let up for a little bit. Maybe it'll stay let up. Again, the end grain soaked up a lot, even after it's been painted several times. So, so that's a, a double-sided bottom board. One side reduces the entrance while the other one's open more. I don't ever use the uh, smaller side, never have. Uh, always had one sided, one size. And then uh, if I need to reduce the size of the entrance, uh, I just use a or entrance reducer and put it in there so and most of the time you don't need one very long winter I reduce it down to really small but other than that uh, there's really no 
no use to have a double-sided bottom board in my opinion that's just my opinion you know other people will argue and say it's it's better to have a small reducer for this that or the other but our smaller entrance but I don't I've never used one I've always used one size bottom board and if I have to for some reason I have to reduce it down and I use a reducer so I believe that'll be it for today Find something you enjoy, learn how to do it. Uh, if you're not sure how to do something, find a way to figure it out. Read books, watch videos, uh, take classes. I mean, I've, I've took, I've, I was out of high school for years and years and years. I think 20 plus years and well, probably closer to 30. And I went back to school and I got a, an associate's degree and I'm still thinking about going back to school and learning more stuff so I mean enjoy life live it to the fullest don't give up find something to do keep going forward hope everybody out there in YouTube land is having a good day I know I have and uh, I'll see you on the next one